I want to do a little video on my reed avocado tree. Um, I'm here in Bakersfield, California, zone 9B. I bought this tree back in about a year ago in September 2022. Planted it in November, actually. Everybody said I shouldn't, but they said I should wait till the spring, but it, it did fine. Um, but I wanted to do a video on it because folks said it's hard to grow avocado trees here in Bakersfield and I'm growing one and it's doing well um, I got a, a 24 inch potted avocado pretty large um, it's about as tall as the uh, the white PVC up there so it's grown a couple feet this summer uh, but I wanted to get a big one for my first try um, just so to be a little more hardy and hopefully I, I'll have some success with it um, we had a pretty cold winter. We had a few weeks. It got down to the low 30s. Um, it did fine. No, no cold damage. Uh, came out early in the morning and sprayed it down during those mornings and knocked off any frost. And it did fine. Um, had had a pretty hot summer. Had about two weeks where it was above 110 degrees Fahrenheit. A um, couple days it was above 115. Um, had no heat damage at all. Um, I did set up a evaporative cooling so it's just a drip line with some with some uh, misters up top and I just turn that on when it gets above 105 108 or so and let it run all day and it keeps it cool and waters it um, I planted it about two feet above grade and it's sunk down quite a bit but it's still about a foot of, probably about a foot above grade gave it a thick layer of mulch and I mulch it again this winter once I get some leaves on the ground that I can pick up and throw in here I water it probably once a week or so once every couple weeks in the winter time almost every day when it's above 100 105 um, usually I just water it through the misters up top and let it drip down and it seems to really like that flowered pretty heavily um, this spring but I cut all the flowers off just to let it continue rooting and get some additional foliage and didn't want to stress it out the first year it was in the ground as far as fertilizer goes I give it like a 10 10 10 organic fertilizer every three or four times a year or so and then I dose it with a uh, fish fertilizer and kelp fertilizer and molasses about every two to three weeks I just Mix a couple shots of each in a two gallon bucket and pour it on there and it seems to really like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's doing really well here in Bakersfield, California, zone 9B. Cold winters, really hot summers, didn't have any cold damage, no heat damage. Again, this is the first year it's been in the ground and it's, it's growing pretty good and We'll see how it does next year, and we'll see how it does through this winter. Um, that's really it. I'll keep you guys posted as this thing grows.